Hey, Rosie. Thanks, Murphy. Oh, if you're here to shoot up the place, let me go on break first. <laughs> I'm not killing anybody today. Look out, old Frankie is back. <laughs> Fucking Frank Murphy. Hey, Bob. Okay, that's enough. You know what, ladies? I worked hard. I played by the rules. What did it get me? I'm sitting with a bunch of little girls in the middle of the day with a goddamn thimble on my head. I look like a Jewish leprechaun. I have cancer. Oh, you are cancer. Mom, I did it. I'm fully employed as a mortician's assistant. Thank you, Funeral Academy of America. Getting the job of your dreams is that easy. No, it isn't. Hell yes, I did. And I resent the question. So you went. You filed for unemployment. Of course I did. I was there all morning. And I applied for jobs that I am waiting to hear about. Then I come home, I discover 40 square feet we didn't know we had, and what thanks do I get? You give me the third degree in front of my children. Oh, not hamburger assistant again. Why can't mom make dinner? Ask her. She's the one who abandoned her post. Now after doing all the lady work, I gotta leave to go do some man work. And is anybody gonna get me flowers and tell me I'm beautiful? No! No one's out there marching for old Frank Murphy. He just watches the sands of his miserable life gather at his feet while his wife, the modern woman, throws on a pantsuit every morning and just... There's my worker, B. Sack to sack. Coin to loin. Don't improvise and say jazz, motherfucker. Don't shove him in like an animal. Slide him in. Like you're making love to your woman. You got to slide him in. Got to slide him in. Just one more to go! You gonna get yourself killed! I'm not losing this job! I did it, Smokey! I got him off! Fuck you, you! Oh, you have it. Why don't you just pay my son what you owe him? Or else what? I don't know. Maybe I'll just wrap this thing around your fucking head. Watch your mouth. I forbid you from doing that show. What? You heard me. As long as you live under my house, you will follow my rules. I hate you! I wish I was never born! Ah, we finally agree on something. Bob, I think you're gonna be a big man around here someday. There's my only living son. You stay good, Bill. I failed your brother, but you're turning out great. How much shit am I in? Well, I was planning on grounding you, but after seeing the end of your show, I think you might have been punished enough. Ah. Oh. Another fucking night. Hey! Ah. Since when do you read? Since when do you care? Since I'm your father, and I'll put you through that fucking wall! Move your ass, you're gonna be late! They'll be fine. Just lock them in, throw a can of tuna on the couch, and see which one survives. But I've been up since 5.30, and it's cold out, and I'm tired from my route. And I'm tired from your bitching. What's the point of it all, anyway? The point is, that's life, and life has no point. You work hard, you get ahead, you start a family, and the kids don't appreciate you. Next thing you know, you're old, no one comes around anymore, and you're staring at the wall. And one day, the neighbors notice a funny smell, and that's when they figure out the cat's eating your face. So go to school! Ah, oh, Christ. Another kid down the drain. Please, just hear me out. I'm sorry I left you on the side of the road yesterday. If your offer to give me my job back still stands, I'll do it. Did somebody order breakfast in bed? No. Well, I brought it anyway. Why are you looking at me like a confused dog? I messed up my neck sleeping on the couch, which I completely deserved. I sweated on the cushion, so I flipped them over. There was a food stain on the other side, so I flipped them back, and I got rid of the sweat with your hairdryer. And here's your breakfast in bed. Pottered eggs and frozen orange juice. Just add water. And kisses. Hey, good looking. You came on time. Of course I did. When have I ever disappointed you? Nah, you don't need that now. It's all fixed, honey. It's what? I met Pogo and the guys at the Robot Bear Sex Pizzeria. They're gonna help me get my old job back. Our problems are over. You raise the baby, and I'll get a job to get us through this. I'm sure I could go full-time in Mohican. They love me there. I'll ask Bob Pogo to put in a good word for me when he gets back from the ballroom dancing championships. Dear God, you let me survive Korea for this? I was always taught to keep things to myself. 
We didn't burden other people with our problems. It's considered impolite. But I don't know how the hell it went bad in the first place. All I know is everything was great with us when I had my old job, and now I'm stuck with you people in a dumpy cabin that reeks of deer piss and pipe tobacco, and all we have is this cheap, watery peanut butter. You gotta stir first before you put it on the bread. Where's the goddamn stepping? Good, he's awful. Me? You married a father killer? <laughs> Frank, put yourself in Sue's place. How do you see her? Ah, uh, I've been married too long to be dumb enough to answer that question. You were the one who wanted me to go deeper, Sue! Well, congratulations! You dig for oil, sometimes you hit a sewer pipe. And now, it's all out there! Oh, here comes, here comes the old... I don't... You asshole! The hell you don't! For 15 years I've had to... Mom, Dad? Are you fighting? Yes! Before we leave like this, is there anything you want to say to me? Anything at all. Breakfast sucked. No matter what. There's our hero. <sighs> Love you, Frank. Back to you a lunch working man. Honey, I'm proud of you. We're a team, Frank. And I need you now more than ever. You're the only person I can turn to and... <sighs> when have I ever disappointed you? Just a quick loan, honey? You can do whatever your heart desires as long as you're home by three. I'm getting a hernia supporting you. The all Frank, wait. Before we leave like this, is there anything you want to say to me? Anything at all? That's the kind of friend I want to be from now on, Frank. What do you say? You miserable fucking asshole. This is why I don't come to your fucking house on Sunday. Go ahead. Say your prayers. Nah, I don't think so. Frank, what the fuck? Buddy, if you shot me now, you'd be doing me a favor. My wife hates me. And for good reason. <gasps> I haven't been there for her. The only right decision I ever made was marrying that woman. And I spent the last two months throwing it all away. Oh, Frank. Who the fuck is this guy? This morning, she gave me one last chance to fix things. I should have said I was sorry. Then I think she's a great woman, wonderful mother, and an absolute animal in the sack! <laughs> but I blew it. I'll tell you what. Let all these other people go. They've actually got something to live for. As for me, I deserve a bullet. To so go ahead. Just shoot me. Oh, oh, God. God. Jesus Christ, you fucking shot me! Oh. Ah. oh my God, are you okay? I'll be fine. It went right through. And I did kind of ask for it. I sure as hell did. And I'll never lose sight of it again. But it cost $250. It was worth every penny of what I traded. Oh, the summer of 61. Our very first 4th of July block party. Oh, who was that sweet guy who always wore that beret? <gasps> he made those great burgers. He sure did. He was funny. Always with a joke. Where is he now? Blew his head off in 63. 